Great. Hi, this is Syrian Moon, and this is my Kickstarter campaign. And I'm trying to get a fiber art studio. And I'd like to raise about $2,000 so I can hand make the yarn to crochet it into shawls like this. And this one I made for my daughter. First one I made for a long time. And it made my hands hungry to do more. So I would like to get a spinning, spinning wheel, some fibers, carding combs, blending board. Just add up what she was like. <laughs> it all costs a little bit. And this is made with store bought yarn, but it's still so beautiful. So imagine what I can do with my own yarn. <laughs> This one I'm calling the Snuggler, and it's meant to, while well, you're sitting at the computer, and you wrap it around you and you're all cozy and snuggly, and it's about one third the size of a blanket, okay, and then the other one is the work in progress. And the other one was cozy and warm. This one is fun and fashion. And it's more around the neck than around the shoulders. <laughs> and for those who love playful fun, the fringes. And you can see the edges aren't done yet, and I'm still in the process of making the fringes. So once it's completed, we'll have worked all those loose ends into the into the shawl <laughs> and this one I'm calling the fringe <laughs> or the tassel I mean this is called the tassel and I opened an Etsy shop so you can pre-order them now for the handmade or for the store-bought yarns and then once if, if this campaign is successful I'll have it right away if not it'll be a few months to save up the money to get them piece by piece but I'm Syrian Moon, and I would love to have a fiber art studio, and I plan to, I'm from Attu, Alaska, I'm Unana, and I plan to create some landscape art of the Attu series, and the three I plan for the, you can laugh, it's okay. And what are you saying? I was like, I was trying to say, wait, goodbye. Yeah, at the end. <laughs> The landscape roll eggs, and I'll pick um, the first one is this called that too, and it'll be seen of the grassy fields and the mountains and the sky. <laughs> and then <laughs> I have both on your lap. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> the second one is called C, and that'll feature water and seals and fishies <laughs> and birdies, even because we got beautiful wildlife there. And then the third one is called Seal, because we are the people of the Seal. And these will be one of a kind. I'll, I'll, I will never repeat these designs. So the only way you'll get them is to get them here. <laughs> and To pre-order here. <laughs> well, it rewards. And the roll eggs are after you card the fiber, before you spin it, that is called the roll egg. And then... After you spin it, that's called yarn. So I'll have Rolex, yarn, and then I'll also knit a shawl. A crochet a shawl, not knit. Crochet a shawl. Um, using the yarn. And each one will be unique and one of a kind. So even if someone buys the Rolex or the yarn, it won't, won't look exactly like the one I crochet for you. Because each one will be unique, depending on... You know, crochet style length, everything, and how they how, how they spun it compared to how I spun it. So the fiber arts is a rewarding and beautiful 
hobby, but it's expensive. The, I want to get a shaft, flat iron spinning wheel, which is a decent price double treadle that can do everything that I need it to do. And that's about 750 I think. The combs and cards will be another 300 and then the blending board, you know, by itself is a couple hundred. It's just the prices are very, very high for everything. And I'm a filmmaker and I'm planning shorts and my first feature film this summer, Shaffins. So all my money is going toward that. So I don't have enough to fund my hobby. <laughs> so let's create some beauty together. My name is Syrian Moon. Thank you.